yeah, impressive profusion of mosses and lichens in the aftermath of the soaking rain we just got. It's like everything's been laying low and now's its big chance. See, this has been getting drilled a lot by woodpeckers over the years. Must be some kind of likable bug in there. Like the size of a crow? Yeah. That's a pileated. Kind of blackish? Yeah. That's a pileated. Yeah, they're great. Red, uh, With a red, a red coxcomb? <laughs> that's, a, that's probably a pileated. Yeah, black Yeah, they're a little bigger than a crow. Yeah. They're a little wary, but I think they're also getting used to us. So a pileated's been sighted. I was asleep at the switch, but my friend nonetheless was quick to notice it. This is the kind of place they like. It's probably waiting for the sun to warm the trees up so the bugs move around and there's food. It's kind of early. This is a fairly complicated junction. For those of us using the bay circuit, however, the solution is quite simple. Mainly go forward. Oh, this is intersection number eight.
sort of hear the sound of cars. Came across what looks to be pileated boreholes. And we did spot a pileated a while ago, so all of this is sort of correlating. And now, we just zip along and I wonder when I'll end up meeting the road. So there, we did another battery transition after a sudden drop, which is fine. And I believe we're not far from the trailhead. characters changing a little bit more towards alderish wet areas. There's some mossy basins, almost like peat bogs. stone wall. No doubt dating back to fruitless attempts to make a living from the land. And there's a oh deer bedding area? Possible. Oh yeah, yeah. The bracket. Yeah, it might be. It might be a deer bedding area or something. Oh, there's a different species of barberry. This is another invasive. It's colorful though. Oh, 
here's an interesting intersection. Which is our, oh, there we go, it's number 10. Looks like it's offset, so I bet this is the turn. Oh, there we go. It's this way. 